So I'm going to show you how I added this trim. As you see, I had this trim all the sides. So this trim is added to this whole entire side and then this whole entire size and then in on the top so I'll show you how I added that so this side you see this side I have already finished adding it this is a wide trim you can get trims like this at your local craft store and I got this trim from India but you can find trim like this in any of your local craft stores so this one also I have finished up to here and I will show you a little bit how you can add it first you put the trim and then you just stitch it inside and just like this Now when you use the exactly the same color thread it's better because then you cannot see the thread that much but if you used a uh, thread just like this fabric contrasting color then you will see the thread a lot. Now here, you see here, I have this side quite a lot, this side little bit but it's okay I will stitch just like this because I have to put another trim on top of it. So that will cover up. Now here this thread finish so I will just tie it over here like a tie it in a, like a knot. Let me show you for this end how I'm gonna add to this end. So you go from this bottom, always go from the bottom because you have this knot at the bottom. You want that knot to go over here. So you go from the bottom like this, and then you take like two holes, and then you come out. I am stitching kind of inside of this sequences if you have sequence in your trim you can go inside the sequence uh, to make the sequence more secure and if you don't you just go inside the trim and then come out so that way you'll be sure that you stitch the trim with the fabric now it's very easy to add sequences in a trim I'll do a video on that soon how to add sequence on a trim so you can buy a um, cheap trim from your local craft store and then on that trim you can add sequence or beads and make it more expensive looking because if you do go to buy trim with sequence and beads that will cost you a lot but you can just get a simple trim and add your own Now I will go through this over here from the bottom because you have to make sure the bottom is now here you see uh, one of the sequence is loose so I will go through inside the sequence so that way I get the sequence to stay on and then I come out see the sequence been stitched Same thing here, the sequence is really loose. These trims are really beautiful. They came with the sequence on it and they were really expensive but um, they were really pretty. And luckily this trim didn't turn black or anything. It stayed the same as shiny, beautiful golden color. Now I'm going to try to go through inside this.
now here I'll just close it up give a closer and close it up make sure it's secure it don't open up and now I will show you the button so you see this is pretty much like a bag already like a purse already see this is pretty much like a purse already and looks really nice it'll be really pretty with the black dress and you can just take it like this no have no decoration just this is your one variety of purse with no decoration real elegant looking and now you can do decoration too with your salwar kurta or ghagra choli with so this is the one kind and now I'm gonna put this beautiful button I got I got this button from a craft store so I'll add this button so to add the button what you need to do you get a chalk first because you want to make sure that you know where you're adding now after you get a chalk you line up like this then you see where do you want to put the button probably this seems to be the middle this so whatever you choose you do a little marking and then look at it is this looks good in the middle okay that looks like middle does that look like middle yeah that looks middle now when i put it like this let me see maybe i need little bit like this now when i put it like this i want to see where do i want my here so if it's here then i have to put my lay trim these two sides now i see this does it come yes so now we're going to stitch that for that i need yellow thread you can do yellow well let's do black because it's black in there you can do yellow or black i'll just do the black I'm gonna stitch this is how we're gonna stitch the button so you open up and you set your button here and get ready to stitch it so here's the button and you go through inside this and then come on out and go here again Now you're going to do this quite a few times until you feel it's secure. So you're going to go inside the, inside the hole like this and then you can do this or you can hot glue it. It's up to you. I would do this rather than hot glue it because as I mentioned I do not like glue. now i will do one project and on that project i will make organic glue and i'll show you with the organic glue it's a wall decor i'm planning to make and that one will be done with the organic glue now this has gotten a little bit tangled Sometimes this can happen. So go like this. And you must go from inside this button and then come out. Now again go like this, like you will give quite a few rounds until you are sure that this is very secure. Because you don't want the ball this button to fall off while you're in some party and your button fell off so 
so it's better to do it at uh, very secure the first time So this seems like very secure make sure this is very very secure go quite a few times and we're going to inside see this inside a little bit hole I'm going through that and then coming out so make sure this thing is very very secure when you do it Now it seems to me it's really tight. Look at the other side, see really tight enough, and then you tie it, make a good knot. Now we're going to do the top portion, which is, so let's see how, it, okay, so this, how it looks good. Now we're going to do, add the closer to it. Now, in order to add the closer, we'll use this little one. just a little just a little one you need so I'm going to use this one just this little one now if, you, if I use this one and then see for the closer make sure you do it tight so for that, you take your needle and thread and you get this and make sure you fold it at least one fold or maybe a couple so it's uh, nice and tight. Now you go over here and from the back you go and stitch it. stitch you should see over here see it looks good now if you see there's little tangle or something you can just tie it here so it doesn't fall apart later like this after you do that you can cut this but you make sure this one is very secure till you finish it up.
Okay, now we're gonna do is this portion. This portion do the same thing. Create double and stitch. Double it up like this. Put it right here and stitch. Let's finish this one up and take it out. Okay, now we get somewhere, we got to fold this one two times and stitch. So before I do too much stitch, I will do little bit and see how it coming, reaching to it or not. So you see you did like this and now see it's a perfect reach see now once you see that that is a perfect reach like this once you see that now oh that makes even beautiful design it's so pretty i'm already beginning to love this purse this is just such a beautiful purse now after all this now see this one itself become a very elegant purse now you can design it if you want and I'll show you the design I did on that one I was kind of hoping to put mirrors on this one but then I will show you next one with a mirror this one I will just show you the design I have on the other one now I will stitch the inside back and when this design dries then you have to do the outside portion with the base and I have the video tutorial on Mother's Day card now you see this this one is done now you put it like this and make sure look at that look at that closer made the beautiful design and this one looks really a good purse in order to open all you need to do is little push on top and it's out and then you close see you can make it a little bit more tight if you want or you can leave it like this so it's a gorgeous purse itself now we're gonna do the design uh, if you don't like the design you can just leave it like this and sew the inside stitch it and stitch the outside here and put beads that's gonna go do one but we are going to go and do the design and then make it first now this side needs to be stitched so we're gonna have to do that because this side is already stitched this side needs to be stitched with yellow so we'll do this and we will do this inside portion let's finish the inside portion first so the inside you're gonna hold it like this and just stitch just hold it like this and just stitch So might have to give two rounds. One round might not be enough. So like this, you continuously stitch the sides. So you see, you just you just holding holding these two and making a stitch in here, just like all the other parses. 
Now when you stitch, this is one problem I am always facing with, is just getting tangled with this button. This is the problem we're gonna always gonna face with. And that's not really fun because always it's happening. Now you see there's no way around it, it seems to me. I had this same problem with the other parts as well. There was no way around it. We're getting so we we'll have to find a way so that it doesn't get tangled next time. this side so when you do the side you keep it like this so it doesn't get tangled with the bottom over there make sure it's a double not single so just like this give it good tight stitch just I'll show you one side and then you can do the other side yourself so continue with this like this you will stitch this side to finish this rest and then move into the other side I will show you just this one side and then when you have to do the other side you can just finish the other side yourselves I don't want to bore you with the same stitching now when you're stitching as I told you you need to be careful about this thread going on to your button the put here we put a button in the front and it will try to get tangled with the button all the time if you're not careful. So Okay, now I think we are So I'm going to go and go through this over again one more time. So this is the same way you will do the other side. So let me end this here 
and then you will do the same way on the other side and then we're going to decorate and the same way you will do the outside portion with one time just like this and the second time you will be adding the beads so we're done with that and this thing will be see this thing will be together now you will do this side yourself i showed you this side i don't want to bore you with the same thing so you see you have a inside pocket now all you need to do if you want just like this and nothing else all you need to do is just stitch these two sides that's all you need to do but if you want decoration i'll show you the decoration after the decoration dries three hours later you will stitch these two sides just the way i show you on mother's day uh, purse and the other parts I have done so just the way you stitch the sides and put some mm, sequins or some beads on it so there is your purse now let's do the design on this one now you see this design is from my imagination so I will try to do like that now design started from this bottom so what you can do is you eyeball it to an inch or so or give it a little bit more if you want so let's see how many coming one two three so in order to do the design i have done uh, a line on every one inch gap so keeping every one inch gap you create a line with a ruler and a chalk and now with that you can do a design from your imagination so i'm just gonna do a design from my imagination and then we're gonna decorate that So like this. Continue. Like this, you're going to do a decoration. Now, after you do this decoration, and you need to leave it for four hours. After this dries, then after that, you can just stitch the sides and put beads, and you're done. When I put this decoration, you can put whatever you feel like it. Now I'll show you how to put beads or sequins in it. I'm using this sequence, this one I'll put in the middle. And I have this beads and sequins and there are some extra buttons. Okay, for the beads part, I'm going to add one bead on each one of these tops.
like this. So you will add one bead to each tuck. You can put it like this or you can just directly keep it in this one. As I show you with your tool, this tool is created with empty paint container and you pick up a bead and drop it there. And make sure you have enough glue for that. So you take a bead, pick it up, you have to get sometimes a little bit paint on your, this tool otherwise it's hard to pick up the bead. This is easy this way. I usually <clears throat> don't like, excuse me, I usually don't like to put it in this because then I see I'm getting stain in the fabric so I don't put it like this. It's better to put in a plate or something. For this you pick up one bead and set it down like quickly. Pick up get some this paint and then put a bead. Sometimes you might as well just drop it by your finger. Okay, so we're done with that. Now we're going to do another one and the middle will be the sequence. So let me create another one. This is just something out of imagination. You can draw anything you want. And you can even do some actual flower but next one I'm going to do with some mirrors I really like mirrors in purse they really look nice this one I just wanted to show you the design so I usually have an idea and I'm working with it and I should video tape on that uh, same time I made the parts but I didn't this so that's why I had to create another one. I should next time I will be doing video taping when I'm doing the design and the parts so I don't have to create a second parts to show. So we're done with that. Now let's see. We're going to do some of these beads. Now if you think that you made a mistake, right away you take a little bit cotton ball soaked in a water, you keep it and wipe it off. Any mistake you wipe it off instantly. If you let it dry, then it's permanent. So like this, you'll be putting beads.
two more beads then I will add sequence to it now done with the beads now we're going to add sequence to it we're going to add some sequins inside we're going to add some sequins outside so you eyeball it make it like one inch you don't need to measure this you just eyeball it now in this you could choose to either put beads or sequins i put sequins so you can choose what you want to put and what kind there are two kinds so i'm adding this sequence to you can choose the shiny side or the bottom side i'll choose the shiny side up now this sequence you can get it from any craft store and you can choose your size you want the bigger size or smaller size just depending on what is your choice preference see this sequence i'm putting upside down because the inside part is more shiny Now I'm going to show you the inside how I put the sequence then you will do the rest I don't want to bore you with the same thing. Now this part is done. Now what you're going to do is put about a couple of sequins on each inside and that you can add either this one or the flat one. We can do the flat one. This one. So all you do is so just eyeball wherever you want to put it I'm just eyeballing few places I want to put like this each of these maybe two three of them depending on how long gap you want to give but they already begin to look really pretty so like this you will continue with this sequence and you eyeball them and give it a little bit gap like one inch or so and then that's it when this dries it will be really pretty So I'm done this side. I'm going to do this side. The same thing, you just pick up sequence and drop it in the glue and press it little bit, gentle press. I don't push too much. See, uh, it began to look really nice. This is how you're going to add the sequence to your design. This one is similar way added. This one is almost done. Couple of more sequins and we will be done with this. Okay, this one is done. Now you can finish yourself three more lines and when it gets dry, then you can do stitching the sides with the beads. And there's one more thing I left is the behind this top portion I have to put this lace or maybe this this one. But I have to put some lace inside portion in the top. So let's just wait until it gets dried about three hours. Then we can work on the other one. So on the purse, all I have left is now this. 
so for doing this you see the top I have the trim and now inside I want to cover it so what you do is you would take a little trim and fold it like this and put it inside like this here and stitch so that way any stitches sewing or anything will be covered that's one step then you take another little piece of trim like this and you put it in your arm and see and now you take this trim and you take it here and you'll be stitching it here like this so you take your needle and thread and you stitch it like this so that's for keeping your purse in your hand like this okay so we done this and this and then the third thing is what you're going to do is you're going to stitch the side the stitching the side i have shown you you take a very sturdy needle like this and then you have your thread and the needle let me see what i have too much thread you need that this one has little bit thread i need something with this a lot of thread probably this one but that's just so little the needle is so little okay now you take that and the side you will be just folding it and holding and stitching like this you go through inside and come out and you go through inside like this and come out like this this is how you're going to stitch the side this is how you're going to stitch the side and after you have done one row then from the top you will be coming down and when you come down you will be adding your beads so you see this is how you're going to stitch the sides So this is how you're going to stitch the side. Now after you've done that, now you have to put either sequins or beads. I have added one bead here and I'm going to show you with another one sequence. How you can add sequins or beads. So sequins, you put the sequins through like this. And then you go one side like this. And then you go inside again and then you get another you can put sequins or beads so I already I have done it with the bead now I'm showing you with the sequins so now you go with the sequins like this so you see now how you stitching the sequins you can stitch the sequins or the beads you can go with the beads like this so I already put beads Like this, beads go in the sides. Like this. So this is how you're going to do the beads. So I have added here one extra bead just to show you. But that's how you're going to do the sequence and bead. You continue going and you put a sequence through like this, through the hole. And you come on out like this. 
I know I'm stitching the sequence only one side not two sides and that will just hold on to now I'll go like this and now we go through this see how you adding the sequence so this one had only beads now I'm adding the sequence to it so this has double sequence because the trim already had a sequence so you can buy a seat trim without the sequence that will be cheaper and then add your sequence to the trim like this these sequences I bought it at a craft store I will list it and these were really very cheap not very much And this sequence you can add it in your dupatta, in your siphon sari, and you can add it in your purse and they will really look lovely. So I did that and now so like this you can continuously add sequence to your purse. like this so this this is how you're gonna stitch the side and add sequence to it see how it's looking pretty Now show you with one side and you'll do yourself the other side. Now when you do this, you have to be careful about your existing beads or sequences always going to get stuck to it. So you need to be careful. Now you see, this is really good. This one I need to come down a little bit here. So you see all the sequences are added so this is how you're gonna stitch the sides and add the sequence to it so our side is stitching done and adding sequence is done So you see I have added these, these sequences and I have added these round beads. So that's your purse and it was really good experience making this purse. I really enjoyed making this purse and as I showed you the black one 
the one is still drying now and it's gonna take four hours to dry and that could be really a beautiful purse without the decoration very elegant beautiful you can take it to your work and stuff and if you put the decoration that's good too you can take it to the parties so either way that could be two in one purse Thank you so much for watching. This is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please make sure you go to my Facebook fan page and give me a like. And I'll be posting at least a video every week, if not two. And thank you so much. Please subscribe, like. Bye-bye. Have a great day.